are back with Sherry Gunn, uh, the amazing, amazing woman that I found out about. She's a principal of uh, Whitney Elementary School in Las Vegas. And uh, the, the things that you do, um, and I know you keep saying that you see children in need and you just do it, but there are a lot of people that work in the school system and they, they feel like they can't do anything. And you actually took steps to do something on your own. You grew up in the projects yourself. Um, these are some of the things that, that Sherry does with your own money, and of course you ask for donations. You help pay rent, you help pay bills, you get free doctor's appointments, you get free eyeglasses for them, you get free visits to the dentist, you get the food for the families. And, and how, do you, how do you do that every single day? I mean, it, it must be just overwhelming to think uh, tomorrow I have to do it again. Well, it can be overwhelming. Um, but when you see their faces and you see the hope that you're giving them and you see when you give them food or you give them clothing or when a child can see for the first time who couldn't see because we now have glasses on them, it gives you that energy to move on. And, um, and then on Fridays when I was really, really bummed, and which happens a lot sometimes, and I would TiVo your shows and watch them and <laughs> as I was ironing and, <laughs> and get inspired uh, because you do it all the time. Well, I say it all the time, the fact that I get to make people feel good, and especially people like you that, that need to laugh and need to feel good, um, I love being a part of that in any way I can. Um, the, some of these kids, though, you mentioned, they don't even know. I know there was a kid waiting outside that didn't know where he was going to sleep that night. They don't know where they're going. Right. That, that happens, not, fortunately, not all the time, but we do have it, and more than I wish we had. And with this little boy had um, a toothbrush and a bottle of soda in his backpack. And when I asked him where his belongings were, he showed him. That That's was it. all he had. That's all he had. Mm -hmm. and, and when did you first realize the, the neediness, the, the true neediness of, of this, the, the situation? The very first day I got there and I saw them eating the ketchup or taking the packets for home, and, and they do eat the ketchup a lot too, and, but they were taking the packets home and the sporks, and then I drove the neighborhood. And as I was driving the neighborhood, all I kept thinking about is that I was raised in the projects, and even though I was raised in the projects, I always had that sense of hope and things that would be different. I always knew it would be, my mother always instilled that to us, that mm -hmm. there was hope and a better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that that was what these children felt. And I was determined at that point to make sure that they knew that there was hope. And as things came across, I started servicing them. And the, the, I think this, this is another thing that I heard, that you, you noticed that they would, get, they would start to get depressed on Fridays or before a holiday. Yes. Because they probably would not eat till they came back to school. Yes. They get very antsy. On, it's really bad on holiday times or summers, but it's particularly bad on Fridays um, when they know they're not going to they don't know what they're going to get. They don't know if they're going to have any food. Any food until they come back to school. Right. And, and if it weren't for you, they wouldn't even have that. But you actually right. decided to take matters into your own hands and do this. Um, right. I really want to challenge any school out there, any teacher, any principal, um, to take a look at Cherry and see what she's doing and, uh, and tell us about it. Call us and say, I've decided to be inspired by this right. woman because you really are... Uh, you're remarkable. You're a remarkable person. Um, so, Sherry does not know this, but we have a live feed. Uh, some people want to say hello to you right now. They stayed late today. <laughs> there are all your students. They stayed late. It's later there <laughs> yes, for them. So they're all wait, watching the show and you love that. you so much and are so grateful. We're going to take a break and we have uh, some more stuff to talk oh. to you about. We'll be right back. Hello, kids. You're, you recognize those faces there? I do recognize them. Oh, they're Baby. so sweet. Hi, kids. How are y'all doing? <laughs> all right. Well, I, I mean, there's just no denying what, what a, an amazing uh, human being you are. You are, you are really somebody special. And, uh, oh, hi. Okay. There he Caleb. is. What's his name? Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Say hi. Say hi, Ellie. Hi. Hi. 
I love what you do too. Uh, you know, a lot of people tell their students, uh, you know, when somebody does something bad, um, tell on them and tell when they do something bad. But you tell them to tell when they've done something good. Right. You actually say, tell somebody if, if somebody's done something good and, and celebrate that. Right, because we have be kind, well, we have be kind days. Every day is a be kind day, but we, on Fridays, wear be kind shirts. And what happens is we ask the students to share and we watch for them to be kind to each other. And then we have little charms and awards for them when they, and we announce it in the lunchroom when they're kind. Incredible. Those kids are so fortunate to be in that school with you. Well, well, I, I wanted everyone to, to know of you and, and meet you. I want more people to know about you and, and hope that you inspire other teachers and principals out there. And I, I realized, well, I can have you on the show and I can make sure that people know about you. But then I thought, well, I know a lot of people and I know people at Target and Target is, you know, they're fantastic. And uh, when I told Target what you were doing, the people at Target will said, well, we want to do something too. So uh, because uh, you are actually helping with something that they're very committed to, education is at the heart of Target's community giving program. So what they want to do, because you're doing this, is give you and Whitney Elementary School $100,000. Target and immediately, without hesitation, said, we want to help. Um, we have to take a break, and we might have one more thing for you. I'm not sure. We'll be right oh back. So we just gave Sherry a check for $100,000 from Target. <laughs> and she said, this is going to help so much, because I just got a bill for $4,000 for toilet paper, and I had to choose between paying for that or buying food. So uh, this is going to help, and, and I, I will urge everyone to continue to try to help you. Uh, there's one more thing. Uh, Jeannie, if you do me a favor, if you would take all of those kids and everybody in there outside, that would be great. Take everybody outside. <laughs> A lot of the uh, kids in this country don't finish school because they never learn to read. Target wants to help kids reach their full potential, and one way to do that is to make sure that they can read by the third grade. So they sent 75 volunteers to Vegas, and they packed 600 backpacks filled with books, lots of school supplies, and other stuff for every single student at Whitney. Thomas is a librarian at McAuliffe Elementary School in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And this past year, Kirby was named Teacher of the Year at her school, and here's why. OK, well, Jeannie is outside of Kirby's school right now, and we have a huge surprise for everyone. Jeannie, where is Kirby? Hi, Ellen. OK, so right now, Kirby is inside the gym with over 300 students. They had a little pizza party earlier, but they have no idea that you are about to surprise them. They think something else is going on. They, they're expecting something, but not this. Yes. So I'm going to call them right now. and. Exactly. I'm going to make sure she has my book in her library. <laughs> or else I'm hanging up. <laughs> yeah, Kirby? Yes, ma'am? Kirby, it's Ellen, and I just want to make sure you have my book. Seriously, I'm kidding in there. Kirby? Don't, don't, try to, don't try to stall. Do you have my book? Seriously, I'm kidding or not? I have it. I have it. I'm not kidding. Seriously. Okay, Je Jeannie's going to run in a, a copy so you have one in there, okay? Hey, kids. Hey, everybody. 
That's, that's not like a library I've ever been in. So Kirby, I got, oh I got your emails. I feel like Gladys right now. You feel like Gladys? <laughs> Hilarious. I got your emails and I, I got a bunch of emails from other teachers also. And uh, I, I know that you've done such amazing work at, at school. And uh, I was just saying congratulations uh, being named Teacher of the Year. How does that feel? Um, really amazing right now, especially. Oh, hi, OK, hi, that's Jeannie, you guys. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pretty amazing uh, Teacher of the Year. It feels so great. Yes, I'm so excited. Yeah. My mind was blown from day one that of the ridiculously amazing staff that we have around here. I, I couldn't, it, it, it was strange to me from day one that my name would be on that list. And right now, I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I am driving the bus to Struggle Street right now. Uh, you're, you're fantastic. I love your energy. I love you. And I know you've written into the show so many different times. We just, we know a lot about you. Tell us about, Sorry how about that. We just. It's okay. Oh, tell you, tell you about what. Sister? Tell, tell me about how many kids go to uh, McAuliffe. Um, we've got a little over 700 kids right now, mm -hmm. and a bunch of us are here today. Well, <laughs> and they're I, all precious and wonderful. Yes, and they so are precious. I, I, I'm sending a whole bunch of love, kids. I want to tell you about something. There's a, something called EntitledBooks.com, and it's a new website and an app where you can download discounted books on devices like iPads and Kindle Fires. And there's over 125,000 ebooks that you can choose from, and you can cancel your subscription at any time and still keep the books. And they heard about you, and they're giving McAuliffe Elementary a check for $25,000 to help you out. One more thing, they're going to give every student there a $25 uh, Target gift card so they can buy supplies or anything else they need. So each of those kids is going to get back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wait, Kirby, we have one more thing. Just sit that check Ellie, down. Thank you so much. You're welcome, we Kirby. I adore you. I adore you. Kirby, just sit everything down that you're holding right now. Just put, put the check down and put the book down. And G and. Yeah, just put the book down just for a second. Jeannie, put on the blindfold, and when we come oh, back. No! I get an Ellen blindfold, can I keep yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's it, surprise! <laughs> All right, keep that on. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll be back after the break. All right. All right, we are back with Kirby and everyone at McAuliffe Elementary. So, Kirby. I want you to tell me a little bit about your book program during the summer. Oh, OK. Um, we have the McAuliffe Mobile Media. And it is my favorite thing on the whole wide world. And we go every week, and we visit all of our babies um, in their neighborhoods and in their apartment complexes and in their trailer parks. And we let them borrow these amazing books that they're so excited about. And then we eat popsicles together, and we sweat together, and we lift heavy boxes of books together, and then we sit and we read, and it's so, so fun. OK, that's great. How many, how many books can you fit in, and what kind of car is it? Oh, um, well, our first year, we had this really, oh, hang on, OK. Um, we had this really old school Isuzu Trooper um, that smelled a lot like gasoline most of the time. And we could fit about three cases of books in it at a time. Uh huh. And our amazing Union Public Schools let us borrow a van this past summer so we could then fit about 10, 15 maybe book boxes of books that, in the van. That's nice. OK, do me a favor. Would you take off your blindfold? Me? I can D take it off you, now? Yes. OK. All right, turn around and look at that. We just bought you, we bought you a bookmobile. iPad minis and books and seating. Look at the inside of that. You have everything you need to keep the kids reading over the summer. Look at the inside, how cool it is. I have to go unlock 
second alley. Oh, we're not allowed in there. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys! Wait, ah! I got the key, ready? I think. Kirby, I'm so glad. I want you to come to the show. I want to meet you in person. I want you to come to the show. So we're going to send you out here at some point, OK? <laughs> Our next guest is a hardworking third grade teacher who just won $150,000. But what she did with that money got her an invitation to my show from Boston, Massachusetts. Please welcome the amazing Nicole Ballerman. Well, you're just an amazing woman. First of all, teachers are, I love teachers anyway. It's a very important and underpaid <laughs> position. I mean, you're, you're so important. I don't know why I'll don't make more money, but anyway. So, so how, did, how did you make uh, the $150,000? First, can I just say, I'm so excited to be here. And thank you so much oh, you're welcome. for having me. And you're, you're just such an amazing person and such an inspiration to me. Oh, um, you're amazing. <laughs> you're, you're the amazing one. So I entered a Capital One Facebook contest called Wish for Others. And I made a wish that my third grade adorable um, kids could have a book to take home with them over December break. And I ended up um, winning $150,000. Right. So you win. A yeah. So what did you do with that money? I donated it back to my school. You gave all the money back to your school. Yeah. So my, you're, I mean, you're struggling to pay your own bills. And you gave all of that money. You didn't keep a little bit of it. You gave it all to the school. No, my kids are just amazing. I, they are hardworking and loving. And every day they come to school and they give me 100% of themselves. You know, 90% of our kids are low income. Um, some of them are homeless. They just have such challenges and adversity and they deserve so much. And this is just like a little bit of what I could give them. But you, you, you're not even, uh, that's, that's not where you stop. So there's a, the, a little boy who was acting out in class, right? And you say, uh, uh, tell everyone what you did. So I had a little boy who was a little misbehaving. And so I kind of bribed him um, and said, you know, you have a couple good weeks and of your good behavior and I'll take you out to dinner. Um, and he turned his behavior around and I took him to Olive Garden and he had <laughs> never held a cloth napkin in his hands before. And um, he was just so excited to be there. He had a cute little polo on and um, had two desserts. And I said, um, <laughs> and you know, I said, why is this such a big deal? And he said, well, cause you know, I, there's not much to eat at home. So I made sure that, you know, there was then you to bring home. Then you went to it. Yeah. Then you brought food to his house. Yeah. Okay. So then you have a kid in, in your class, and he's looking out the window all the time. And you say, "What are you doing?" He's looking at birds because bird. it makes him feel peaceful. Yeah. Um, so he, then you do what? So I went and got him a bird watching book for mm -hmm. kids. Um, and his grandmother, he was he was being raised by his grandmother um, in a very transient relationship. And he um, grandma called me and said that. This was probably the only thing he'd get for Christmas. Um, so, so then you. <laughs> so my mom and I went to Target and made sure that he had he and his sister had something to open because every kid deserves to open presents on Christmas. Yep, they do. <laughs> you are a saint. <laughs> It feels good yeah. to be you. Well, like, it's, give it's, it away. it's <laughs> yeah, it feels good to help people. It really yeah. does. Um, we have another surprise. Look where Jeannie is right now. Look at this. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my kids. How's 
everybody doing there, Jeannie? Can you hear me? We are doing, yeah, I can hear you, Ellen. We are doing so great, Miss Bollerman. These students love you so, <laughs> so much. They've been telling me stories all day about how wonderful you are. Look how excited they are. <laughs> it's hard to get them to be quiet. <laughs> All right, does the, does the girl in the front row have a question? Is that the... <laughs> she just given a shout out? All right, well, we love this school and uh, so do our friends at Target. For years, Target has been committed. They've been giving a billion dollars towards education so far. They know it's important for kids to have the right school supplies, so Target is giving 700 backpacks filled with school supplies to each student at Up Academy. <laughs> <laughs> also, Jeannie, every student is also going to get a $100 Target gift card. Make sure they know that. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. It's a good day for those kids at Up Academy. We're back with Nicole Ballerman. How many uh, teachers are there? There are 70 teachers. 70 teachers. Yes. Well, we have learned uh, that uh, the average teacher spends at least $500 out of their own pockets on their classrooms, right? And that's just for supplies every year. That's without going above and beyond like you do. So Target is, first of all, Target is being amazing. Everything, when they heard about the situation, they jumped in. Target is giving each teacher at Up Academy a $500 Target gift card. <laughs> something too. You love Skittles, don't you? I, I you do love, love Skittles. Skittles. I don't drink coffee, but I eat Skittles. I see. <laughs> right. Well, I don't know if that's helping you. Um, let's, let's go over here. I have a gift for you. If you love Skittles. <laughs> so here, come over here. I don't know how long they stay fresh, but that, <laughs> that is an aquarium full of Skittles. And in that Skittles, we also have, for you, $25,000. That's from our friends at Target. That's for you. Having an amazing woman. You just happened to be dancing during that commercial break. Yes, I was. And, uh, and I embarrassed myself. No, you were fantastic. You were doing Hi. all kinds of really cool things in the audience. Oh, my goodness. I have practice in my class. Yeah. Fantastic. So you're a kindergarten teacher. What is the name of the school? I teach at Lou Wallace Elementary in Lou, Albuquerque. Lou Wallace Elementary in, uh, in Albuquerque. And uh, tell us about that school. I know about it, but tell everyone. <laughs> well, it's, um, I teach in downtown Albuquerque. We're um, a 75% free and reduced lunch school. So uh, you teach kindergarten. And what is the question, the first question you ask every morning? So I ask my kids if they've eaten that morning. Um, if they need anything to wear or need to brush their teeth or comb their hair. We usually spend about the first hour of our morning getting ready for our day to learn. I, I feel like as educators, we're sort of the first responders. So we spend most of our morning getting everybody ready to so, learn. So the first, uh, the, the first question. The first question, uh, have you eaten, uh, sometimes the answer is not from the day before, right? That's correct. These A lot little five-year-old kids have not eaten since the day before. True, true. So you feed yeah. them, you get them all cleaned up. We do. And so, uh, and you've taken in two foster kids. You have two children of your own, right? I have one son. W one son. He's, He's in the audience, he I think. Is. He so is. He is. He was just uh, watching. <laughs> So 
So you have one son, and uh, are you proud of your mom? Doesn't isn't she cool? Yeah, I'm I'm very proud. Yeah, he, she's she's an amazing woman. And so then you took in uh, two foster children. Tell everyone the story of that. Um, so they were two of my former students. They were in my class, and um, uh, Child Protective Services had come that day. And I think any time Child Protective Services comes to uh, you know school, you know it's never a good thing. And they were there that day, and. Uh, it was a Friday, and I got I got a call because they had requested if I would have them for uh, 48 hours, and I said, of course, um, they're beautiful children, and so I sent my family out to get. We had nothing, so we got toothbrushes and jammies and underwear and brushes, and and uh, they've been with us ever since. For how long now? Six months. Six months. Six months. Good for you. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. So. We have a little surprise for you if you look at that monitor right there. Well, now I'm crying too because it's sweet as can be, and your son's crying. You're an amazing woman. We're gonna. Uh, we want to talk about um, the school and uh, and s t tell everyone the name of it again because I want people to help it. Lou Wallace Elementary in downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, go to our website if you, because uh, when you hear the budget that they have and what comes out of her pocket, we, we want to help the school. We want to help these kids. Um, and we're going to help you uh, when we come back. We'll be back. So we are back with Sonia Romero from Lou Wallace uh, Elementary in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Go to our website if you want to make a donation to that school. Uh, so your budget is $150 a class, is that right? $150 per teacher for the whole year. The whole year. The whole year. $150. That's right. So I would assume out of your pocket, because you're feeding them and you're brushing right. their teeth and, and uh, cleaning them up, what comes out of your pocket? I think last year I, that I can remember and that I saved my receipts for was about $2,400 of our, and, and that's not typical for uh, anybody who's a teacher knows that I mean, we want our children to be, yep. we, we treat our kids as though they were our own. Right. So this is typical for teachers. So you're busy and you're spending a lot of money because you care about these kids. And Absolutely. so Target wants to help you. They want to help. And I, and I know that you've gotten a donation for $100 from someone who was a good Samaritan. You turned around and gave that $100 to a woman you saw crying on a bench. So Target wants to give you $10,000. Oh, my God. I know what kind of person you are, and you think you're going to use this $10,000 to help other people. They also want to give $10,000 to Lou Wallace Elementary School. So you're going to get another. Oh, my God. So, oh, one for you, one for the school. Man, I say it all the time. The wrong people uh, get the, 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 the attention. I mean, teachers should get more attention than, than I get, than people just because I do what I do. I mean, I'm glad I have a platform to show off people like you. You should be getting this attention. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, first of all, you got Teacher of the Year, and you deserve Teacher of the Year. Congratulations <laughs> on that. And um, so, and you started teaching at South uh, Greenville. It, you, it had an F rating. Yes, we have a 100% um, uh, poverty rate. We're a Title I school. Um, and the kids will come in with hunger pains. You're talking about teaching. You have to imagine teaching a child that's crying because they're hungry. Or imagine teaching a child that's crying because they, had, they heard their parents fussing the night before or something crazy like that. So teachers like me, you know, we find different ways to be creative, innovative, and, and engage them and teach them the instructional content that will make them productive global leaders. How do you stay so positive? These kids come to school hungry and distraught mentally and emotionally, and they find a way to listen to me, teach them how to add or learn how to read better. And you were inspiring those kids uh, and giving them hope, which is the most important thing that we can possibly do, is, is give these children uh, hope. All right, so uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we have uh, a surprise for you. We'll be back. We're back with second grade teacher Michael Bonner, and uh, we have a surprise. Jeannie, are you there? 
Oh my God. So, so how, how great is, is your teacher? Let's hear about your teacher and why you love him so much. Because he likes to play football with us. He likes to <laughs> Because he's nice to me. Because he's nice to you. Because Mr. Bonner is tall. <laughs> Just some of the reasons. I love you. All right. Oh. I heard the kids learned a rap. Is that right? Is there a rap that they're going to do right now, Jeannie? Yes, yes, yes. They're going to do part of the rap. Okay, ready, you guys? One, two, three. When the last year happened, life was a problem. It was a problem. It's all now. Read it, 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 read we have such little time, but I want to, first of all, I want uh, we didn't get to this story. So you, uh, this is a really creative thing you've done. You, you put $200 in their hands, and tell, tell everyone why you're doing that. So one out of three African-American males are projected to go to prison, correct? So um, I'm an African-American male teacher, which is rare in the education field. So I'll go to the bank, I'll get 200, 300, 400, and before reading or math, I'll put it in their hands, and I'll let them touch it so they can connect that Mr. Bonner is a, a professional. He's not doing any illegal activity, and he has money. Um, and I just use that as a, a psychological tool to help them to be motivated. Really smart. Really smart. All right. So we have a, a few things for the school. We have, uh, I, because you, you're making these music videos, right? right. So we have. Um, 55-inch TCL Roku TVs. We have iPad minis. We oh have drones. God. We have Beats headphones. Oh, my God. We have... <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, my God. And we are going to... This is the beginning of a relationship. We want to continue. I want to I wanna help y'all, and I hope anyone watching this, uh, get in touch with us if you can help donate and help in any way. Earlier this season, we partnered with Walmart. They helped us surprise a deserving school in need, and when they heard about your story, they wanted to help as well. So they're going to give South Greenville Elementary a check for $25,000. What? <laughs> Oh my God, this is amazing. You're amazing. Oh my God. You're amazing.